Hurricane Katrina battered Louisiana and Mississippi on August 29, 2005, with storm surge up to 28 feet and waves up to 55 feet, the highest surge in waves ever recorded in North America. Large portions of the 350 miles of levees and flood walls surrounding New Orleans were overwhelmed. Following Katrina, the Corps of Engineers worked nonstop to repair and improve 220 miles of levees and flood walls by June 2006. The Corps repaired and improved levees using special materials to reduce the risk of erosion from waves and overtopping. Work is still underway to provide a 100-year hurricane and storm damage risk reduction system in 2011. That system will reduce the risk of damage from storm surge that has a 1% chance of happening in any given year. The system will also contain multiple lines of defense, requiring federal, state, local, and individual actions. The Corps is now fighting storm surge at the outside of the city, or at the perimeter. Several kinds of features help form this perimeter system reducing the risk of flooding from storm surge. The most common of these features are levees, which are earthen embankments designed to hold back surge, and flood walls, which are concrete and steel vertical barriers. Elevations of levees and flood walls will vary throughout the system based on different site conditions and requirements. Flood walls stand alone or atop levees. Eye wall flood walls have been strengthened and transitions between structures, such as flood walls and levees, hardened against storm surge using concrete or rock. In critical areas, more stable T walls were installed, so named because they look like an inverted letter T. In addition, the Corps is building pump stations, gates, breakwaters, and safe rooms for pump operators, as well as adding armoring, which can consist of rock, concrete, grass, clay, or other material. Pump stations reduce flooding in low areas by moving rainwater from residential, business, and open areas to outside the system. Many of the 78 pump stations in the system have been repaired since 2005. Floodgates throughout the system provide vehicle and railroad access. When floodwaters approach, these gates are closed quickly to protect the areas behind them and close the perimeter system. A new, robust, three and one half mile concrete T wall will replace an existing flood wall near the lakefront. Foreshore protection is added at Lake Pontchartrain. The Corps must overcome several challenges to build an elevated ramp over a 10-foot concrete flood wall at the south end of the Causeway Bridge at Lake Pontchartrain. The greatest challenge is to keep the heavy transportation corridor open to traffic during the lengthy construction period. The 17th Street, Orleans, and London Avenue outfall canals allow interior pumps to move rainfall out of the city and into Lake Pontchartrain. During Katrina, storm surge flooded the city through breaches in two of the outfall canals. The Corps installed interim canal closures in 2006 to stop storm surge from entering the city. Pumps move rainwater around the gates when they are closed. These interim closure structures replace the parallel system of canal flood walls as the primary defense against storm surge, with a perimeter system that blocks storm surge before it can enter the canals. These interim pumps provide 100-year level of protection, but they have a project life of five to seven years. The Corps will replace these interim gates and pumps with permanent, more robust facilities in 2014. Near the eastern side of the city, a large shipping navigation canal connects Lake Pontchartrain to the Mississippi River. This is known as the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal, or IHNC. 
The Lake Pontchartrain Seabrook floodgate is part of the IHNC surge risk reduction, planned for completion by 2011. The system continues along Lake Pontchartrain with levees, breakwaters, and flood walls encircling New Orleans East before tying into the IHNC surge barrier at Lake Bourne. Levees and flood walls along the IHNC have been strengthened, but the area will remain at risk until the entire system is completed. The IHNC surge barrier project at Lake Bourne will be the largest surge barrier of its kind in the world. It is also the Corps' largest ever Civil Works design-build construction contract. The Seabrook floodgate and Lake Bourne surge barrier will work together to prevent storm surge from entering St. Bernard Parish, New Orleans East, the Lower Ninth Ward, Gentilly, and New Orleans metro areas, substantially lowering risk. To complete the perimeter system on the East Bank, a 22-mile flood wall will connect the IHNC surge barrier to the Mississippi River levee in St. Bernard Parish. Across the river, the eastern tie-in will join the system into the Mississippi River levee near Oakville. The project will protect unincorporated areas of Plaquemines Parish and communities in the Oakville area. Critical to the entire West Bank, the eastern tie-in will reduce risk to residences and businesses above Oakville. A short distance away is the largest project on the West Bank. The GIWW West Closure Complex is being built at the confluence of the GIWW and the Harvey and Algiers canals. The complex will prevent storm surge from entering the West Bank area through these canals blocking the surge at the perimeter. Public input has been vital as this area is also adjacent to federally protected wetlands forest, historic areas, and businesses. The nearly $1 billion West Closure Complex is expected to consist of flood walls, foreshore protection, floodgates, earthen levees, and a drainage pump station that will be the largest in the world. The perimeter system continues with flood walls and levees to the company canal closure structure. The project area has been developed over the years for recreational, residential, commercial, and industrial purposes. The Corps will replace the existing flood wall with a more robust 14-foot flood wall, construct more than 1,000 feet of earthen levees, and build a gate across the Bayou Signet. A pump station will be built adjacent to the new gate. Levees and pump stations defend against surge from the Bayou Signet area to the western tie-in, where the perimeter system will once again join the Mississippi River levee. The western tie-in has several different components, including levees, flood walls, and floodgates. This project will provide further risk reduction for the areas of Avondale, Wagaman, and Bridge City from storm surges entering Lake Catawachi and the Greater Barataria Basin. The hurricane and storm damage risk reduction system will include added scour protection, most eye walls replaced with stronger T walls, repaired existing pump stations, storm proofed pump stations, and improved interior drainage. In addition, the system has built in resiliency so that it can stand up to overtopping by a 500 year storm surge. Under current conditions, the five parish area has better protection than ever before, but there will always be risk. Even though flooding will be reduced with the 100-year system, there will still be a risk of flooding from larger, more powerful hurricanes. This is why evacuation orders should always be followed. 
In addition, the Corps is working with multiple agencies and organizations to restore the ecosystem and protect the coast in South Louisiana and beyond. Coastal ecosystem restoration is part of the integrated system of multiple lines of defense against storm surge. Building the hurricane and storm damage risk reduction system involves certain environmental challenges. The Corps identifies and mitigates those impacts according to law and policy. The National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, process includes extensive public input, interagency coordination, consideration of alternatives, impact assessments, and all necessary mitigation. Projects fully meet all NEPA requirements. Building the system is a shared responsibility between the Corps and all of its federal, state, and local partners. Tested by Hurricane Gustav in 2008, the incomplete system withstood storm surges of about 12 feet. The Netherlands' Dutch works, often cited as a model for the rest of the world, was built as a result of a storm with a comparable surge height. A 100-year event in New Orleans has about 16.5 feet of surge, the same surge level as a 1 in 10,000-year event in South Holland on the coast of the North Sea. The nation's leading experts and the world's fastest supercomputers are providing the best science and engineering information available for the hurricane and storm damage risk reduction system. The Corps is looking at all alternatives to reduce risk, including restoration and protection of coastal wetlands. In June 2011, the New Orleans area will have the best risk reduction system for a 100-year storm surge that today's engineering can build. For more detailed information on the risk reduction system in the New Orleans area, construction projects, and other information, please visit www.mvn.usace.army.mil.